Um, for me, it was as I said. As when I last spoke to my parents, I went for counselling, um, and I thought this would really help me to tell my journey moving forward. The one of the first things that the counsellor focused on was how could you be gay and Muslim. The woman who asked me that was South East Asian, British born. Um, so I kind of said, well, I can. I am quite happy in my, in my, you know, in my skin. But my counselling sessions, it was over a six week period, she focused more on my you know, the se sexual aspects of my identity. And I came away feeling this is not what counselling is about. So I don't know, those kind of questions are irrelevant to the process. And I think also as, about, as well about developing cultural competences and awareness, show that you understand you know, especially if you're coming from BAME or BAME LGBT backgrounds, show that you understand and that you pay. I don't want my, our voices being shut down. So even if you've got, you know, a family who's BAME LGBT or whatever, friends, whatever, just acknowledge that, acknowledge that you understand the different nuances. Um, one of my relatives, female relatives, um, she was sectioned. She's again, she's born and bred here in the UK. She had a very good education. She's very academic. But she'd talk about her family, i.e. like me and others, and use reference, terms of reference, which the professionals didn't quite understand. Because she'd say like, oh, my mum G, which means like uncle, with respect, or auntie G, and they were like, oh, is she really your auntie? Is, she really, is he really your uncle? Are they related? And then they started questioning the terms that she used, and she said, but in our culture, these terms of reference are just normal part of our conversation. And just, you know, if I say Mamoji means uncle, can you not respect that? So those are the small little nuances that people have to become aware of, and especially with food as well. I'm using my relative as an example because she went through the whole kind of process of therapy and all the rest of it. And again, with food, again, she had to make it clear time and time again that although she's born and bred here in the UK, she still enjoys eating halal food, and that's what she wanted. But the professionals said it was hard for them to obtain halal food. So in some respects, they kind of forced her to eat non-halal food because she craved, say, chicken, and she didn't get halal chicken. So it's those sorts of little things. So I think for me, one of my early therapists really pushed me on coming out in my family. I don't think that's helpful. I think it's more helpful to think about how you're going to be working with the client around building coping mechanisms and not coming out in that community. Are there any, um, any um, what I would call forming a different type of family? So are there people that they can meet within the community that will be supportive about their sexuality, that they can meet around at a private night table and have these conversations in a very, very open and frank way? Um, I think a lot of times in, when we work on clients, when they present, we focus less on what's going well and more on what's not going well. And I guess it's really building those inner coping realities. But also looking at choices of not being out and what that will mean for the client as well. Yeah, and just on I mean, in terms of Christianity, there isn't really a monoculture. So people from different church backgrounds will have a very different um, understanding of the role of scripture or the role of leadership. And so I suppose it's being sensitive to the actual place where that person is and realising that these are kind of existential questions of eternal security and salvation. So they are really, really important questions to deal with safely. And I would echo that not, you know, not having an agenda about anything really, just being with that person and helping them. And there's lots and lots of different resources written by Christians and others that help with uh, an individual's exploration of their options in this world. <laughs>